For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we are here at an event in New Delhi marking the momentous occasion of 60 years of the Cuban Revolution. And with us is one of the Cuban Five heroes, Fernando Gonzalez, who was incarcerated unjustly in the United States for nearly 16 years. So thank you, comrade, for joining us today. Firstly, can you start off by telling us a little bit about your story? Uh, what was the kind of work you were doing in the US? How did you end up in prison? And what were the charges that were leveled against you? All right, well, in a nutshell, the, there was a group of individuals from Cuba, and I was one of them, who were living in South Florida, where, uh, where a group of, uh, of Cuban-Americans, uh, extremists, right-wingers, and terrorists, uh, for years have been planning uh, violent attacks against Cuba. The United States uh, agencies that are in charge of stopping that, they never did. Uh, so the Cuban government had no other choice but to send people to the United States. Uh, and, and we worked on trying to find out what they were doing, what those groups were, were doing, uh, where they got the weapons from, where their finances uh, were coming from, and what their plans were in order to save lives in Cuba and in other, other part of the countries where they uh, uh, planned the attacks against Cuban uh, interests. That's what we were doing. We were not uh, trying to get into any secrets of the United States government. Uh, however, they arrested us and they charged us with all kinds of uh, uh, charges uh, related to uh, espionage. And that's in a nutshell uh, our case. And so what was the struggle like to free the five of you? And what role did international solidarity play in the freedom, in the struggle for your freedom? Uh, well, there was a huge movement in solidarity with the uh, freedom of the Cuban Five. It was a, mov a movement that uh, was built uh, little by little. Obama! Obama! Obama, give me five! Right we won! Justice! Right we won it! Now! Commercially controlled uh, media never spoke a word about, about the case. So it was people spreading out the word, hard, working hard, hard in the streets, passing out the information. Uh, making events in which they talked about the Cuban Five and little by little the, the word and the truth spread out and people joined a, a, an international campaign all over the world for the freedom of the Cuban Five. They understood the injustice that was behind uh, the whole case. The political nature of our case, it was a, it was a, a political aggression of the United States against Cuba. Uh, so people ended up understanding and the pressure on the United States government uh, was felt uh, because of the uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands and millions of people around the world who demanded our freedom. And finally, 60 years from uh, after the Cuban Revolution, what do you think is the significance of the Cuban Revolution today now that the US is making even stronger attacks, stronger imperialist attacks against uh, similar alternative projects in the region? Well, uh, Cuba is, uh, is a country that puts the, the, the human being in the center of everything. Everything that is done in Cuba is done uh, with that view uh, as, uh, as the essence of what, what we do. How to benefit uh, the individuals, how to benefit the human beings. Uh, it seems that that bothers uh, uh, the United States and that bothers uh, a business uh, community that they would th see that kind of society uh, as a threat to their own interests. Uh, but we Cubans are, are quietly continuing to work towards building our socialism, our, our social system that is built for the people and with the people. And whether the United States likes it or not, we're going to be there, we're going to continue doing that, and we're going to keep fighting against the injustice that is the, the U.S. blockade against Cuba. And we know that in that purpose and in that goal, we have the, the support of millions around the world. Thank you so much, comrade. Thank you. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching People's Dispatch.